Jadi aku sudah terus di open comments. Okay, good evening everyone. My name is Zakia Nuritsan Lida. I'm at a good condition today and I'm at my home right now. And today we are going to discuss about um, defining capability requirements. Uh, in this chapter, we are going to talk about capability in uh, performance management and then we talk about uh, uh, competence and competency which is very important as well uh, in the performance management so that's all uh, from me thank you okay welcome again service uh, open your camera please yes sir so hello everyone uh, i'm in a good condition today so i hope i will be in a good condition too so for today we are going to discuss about chapter five which is talking about a defining capability requirement. So capability requirements are a measure of effectiveness in the form of mission focused text statement that are best written in text condition and standard format. I'm looking forward for today's discussion in order to widen my knowledge in performance management and can be implemented in the, uh, this in the future. That's all for me. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay, Salsa Bilas, Hello everyone, I'm Sasa Bilash Asli. Today I'm uh, in my great condition. Uh, today we will uh, learn about defining capability requirements and what I know about this chapter, about this topic is capability is about employees' ability to do their job. It can be defined as what employee must know and be able to do and they should be happy if they are going to perform uh, their roles well. Thank you. Okay, Sally please. Good evening everyone, uh, so I'm in a good condition right now, so today we will learn about defining capability requirements. So, um, capability is, capability can be defined as what people must know and be able to to do and how they should how they should behave if they are going to perform their roles well that is for me thank you uh, hello sir and everyone i'm in good condition uh, and today topics is about capability I mean, what I know about this topic is uh, we can seek capable people at work to who meet their performance expectation. They can use their knowledge, skill, and personal attributes to achieve the objective standards specified for their roles. Thanks. That's all. Thank you. Okay, please. Uh, okay. We, we, we are waiting for okay. uh, Padilla Rizky, yes. Padilla Rizky, are you in Padilla Rizky? Yes, sir. Okay, please, can you open your camera? Sorry, sir, I can open my camera. Open that, please. Did you have to open it? Yes, sir. Did you open and comment, please? All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Padilla Rizky Anaya, and I want to give my opinion opinion for this capture, um, defining capability requirements, uh, and then uh, performance is a function of inputs or capabilities as well as output and the achievement of objective to manage uh, performance in the, in the sense of defining expectation, assessing the degree to which those expectations have been met and agreeing with needs to be done to develop and improve it is necessary to define what capabilities are required to perform a, to perform well that's all okay this afina adelia hello everyone my name is afina adelia hello afina adelia okay this is not in your report. Okay, please, Adel Pia Puti Aspasya, please help me comment and look at the discussion. 
Um, good evening, sir, and everyone. So, um, my name is Delvia Putras Pasha. I'm in a good condition today. So, we're going to talk about Chapter 5. It is defining capability requirements. So, capability is a performance level where the company and the individuals can do it, be able to perform with their potential, potential and how to perform um, very well. So it is a measurable things uh, that we know how they uh, behave or about how going, they're going to perform by, by their roles. That is what I know about capability um, requirements. Okay, uh, it's time for you to uh, uh, with your discussion. Please take your time. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, um, First, I want to say, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good evening, Sir Adi and everyone in this class. Um, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to finally lead the discussions. And I hope we're all in a good condition so we can discuss more about the capability requirements. And I'm so excited to finally uh, to see you guys in online so I can hear your voice, I can hear your opinion about the questions that I've given to you. And yeah, um, as we know, we're going to talk about the chapter 5. It is defining capability requirements. So we're going to go deep into this um, about capability. It is very important for us to learn about this, especially when we work in a company or organization. So. Um, okay, let's move into the questions number one. So, uh, I want to know, how well do you know about the capability in performance management? Is there anyone of you want to answer this question? Me. Okay, please, Salsa. Thank you, Dapia. So, hmm, uh, the question is, how well do you know about the capability in performance management? Capability is about employees' ability to do their job. It can be defined as what employee must know and be able to do, and they should be happy if they are going to perform their roles well. It refers to an employee's ability to perform the work expected of them to the required standards. It can be assessed based on the employee's skills, fitness, health, status, or other physical or mental characteristic related to the work he or she is doing. Effective capability management helps to ensure that your team is productive and be able to meet business goals. Thank you. Okay, very well. Okay, is there anyone want to answer this Me. first question? Uh, okay, just please, please. want to add things more. So, uh, for me, performance management refer to an individual ability to ensure that the work of those working under his or her supervision supports and advanced organiza organizational goals. Performance is a function of inputs uh, that which skills and outputs, outputs that uh, is achieving goals. Managing performance to deliver 